Hello, my dear code adventurers. Today, we are diving into the world of Super Mario 64 to discover how this game revolutionized the gaming industry. Get ready for an epic adventure! Super Mario 64, what a fantastic game. Released in 1996 on the Nintendo 64, this game was a pioneer in the realm of 3D gaming. But what makes it so special? Before we continue exploring the game's levels and technical marvels, let's take a moment to appreciate the visionary team behind Super Mario 64. This game was brought to life by none other than Shigeru Miyamoto, the legendary creator of Mario, Zelda, and Donkey Kong. Shigeru Miyamoto, along with his talented team at Nintendo EAD, embarked on a journey to create a game that would set new standards for 3D gaming. They used the power of the Nintendo 64, which was groundbreaking at the time, to bring their vision to light. Miyamoto's team faced numerous challenges during development. They had to invent new technologies and techniques to handle 3D environments, which were still a novelty. The analog stick on the Nintendo 64 controller, for example, was a crucial innovation that allowed for precise control of Mario's movements. Wow! The team also had to think creatively about how to design levels in 3D. Unlike 2D games, where movement is limited to left, right, up and down, 3D games required a whole new approach to navigation and interaction. One of their key strategies was to focus on player freedom and exploration. This led to the creation of open, non-linear levels that encouraged players to explore and experiment. And let's not forget the technical aspects. The team used advanced compression techniques to fit expansive 3D worlds into the limited storage of the Nintendo 64 cartridges. This was a remarkable achievement that set a precedent for future game development. Thanks to the visionary leadership of Miyamoto and the innovative efforts of his team, Super Mario 64 became a timeless classic that continues to inspire game developers today. Now, let's dive back into the game and see how these innovations translate into unforgettable gameplay experiences. Okay. The first thing to note is the dynamic camera. Before Super Mario 64, three games often had issues with perspective and camera control. Take Tomb Raider on PlayStation for example with a rigid camera made navigation frustrating, or Bubsy 3D, which is infamous for its catastrophic camera and clunky controls. Yes, you're right, Nico. The camera was controlled by the player, using the analog stick, which offered unprecedented freedom. It was like having a panoramic view of Mario's world. In fact, this precise camera control became a standard in 3D games, influencing titles like Banjo-Kazooie and even Psychonaut. Let's talk about this dynamic camera. Have you ever tried moving around in the Lethal Lava Land level? What an incredible experience, right? The dynamic camera wasn't the only revolutionary aspect. The level design was equally innovative. Developers created open worlds where players could freely explore discover secrets, and tackle challenges at their own pace. For example, in Barb on Battlefield, players are naturally guided towards objectives, while being encouraged to explore every nook and cranny. That's right, Ivan. The levels were designed to encourage exploration. For instance, in Bob on Battlefield, you could choose different stars to collect, each requiring a different approach. Yes, each star in the levels of Mario 64 represented a unique challenge. It was like having multiple mini-quests in each world, making every exploration new and exciting. Do you remember the terrifying piano in Big Boo's Haunt? Ah, that piano scares me every time. Oh no! Hey, it's just a piano. But I understand. Those unexpected moments add so much to the game's charm. That's what makes each level memorable, with its own challenges and surprises, and you, dear adventurers, what is your most memorable moment from Super Mario 64? Tell us in the comments. Now we are ready to delve deeper into the level design of Super Mario 64. Let's talk about the different approaches the developers took to make each level unique and captivating. Each level in Super Mario 64 is like an adventure in itself. 
filled with challenges and secrets to discover. Take Bob on Battlefield for example. This level introduces the player to open-ended gameplay, where each star represents a distinct objective. Exactly, Lyra. The stars in Super Mario 64 are not just collectibles, they are integrated into the level's structure. For instance, to get the star for trace with Kuopa the Quick, you need to not only find Koopa, but also beat him in a race to the top of the mountain. And then, there are levels like Jolly Roger Bay, where star collection involves underwater challenges, adding a completely different dimension to the gameplay. Each star requires the player to explore and interact with the level in various ways. Make way! These stars encourage players to revisit levels multiple times, discovering new aspects each time. It's an excellent way to ensure players never get bored and continue to find new ways to play. Yes, and this has inspired many future games to include multiple objectives in their levels, making each playthrough richer and more varied. For example, Banjo-Kazooie and Donkey Kong 64 use similar level structures with multiple goals to achieve. We must not forget the interactive elements of the levels. For example, in Cool Cool Mountain you have to help a penguin find its baby to get a star. These kinds of interactions make each level lively and engaging. Exactly, Eva. This level of detail and interaction paved the way for a new era of game design where every element of a level could play a key role in the player's experience. After exploring the levels and stars of Super Mario 64, let's now delve into the technical innovations that made this game a true technological masterpiece. Super Mario 64 was one of the first games to fully leverage the capabilities of the Nintendo 64, particularly with its use of the analog stick and dynamic camera. Let's discuss these innovations in detail. We need to discuss. The Nintendo 64 was the first console to incorporate an analog stick, allowing for smooth and precise movements. Before that, games primarily used D-pads, limiting movement to eight directions. For example, in Resident Evil on PlayStation, the rigid controls made navigation difficult, but with Mario 64, players could run, jump, and turn freely. Yes. And this freedom of movement was revolutionary. The intuitive controls of Mario 64 set a new standard for 3D games. The precision offered by the analog stick made complex moves like backflips and double jumps possible. Look at how smoothly Mario moves. This fluidity was made possible by combining the analog stick with advanced animations creating an immersive and enjoyable gaming experience. Nice. Another fascinating aspect of Super Mario 64 is how it utilized the technical capabilities of the Nintendo 64. The game used advanced compression techniques to store vast freed wells on a small cartridge. This allowed for detailed and expansive levels despite storage limitations. These compression techniques were crucial because they allowed developers to include detailed textures and smooth animations without exceeding the cartridge's limits. This was a significant step for the video game industry, demonstrating that it was possible to create rich and immersive worlds with limited resources. And we can't forget the dynamic camera. Super Mario 64's camera system allowed players to control their viewpoint, a major innovation at the time. This not only improved immersion, but also influenced many future games. Wow! Yes, and this camera system was essential for allowing players to navigate the game's complex 3D environments. The camera could be adjusted to provide the best possible view, which was crucial for precise jumps and movements. This combination of analog controls, advanced compression, and a dynamic camera made Super Mario 64 a pioneer in 3D gaming. It paved the way for many innovations, and set standards that are still used today. Stay with us for the next part where we'll examine the lasting impact of Super Mario 64 on the gaming industry and how it inspired generations of developers. Ready? After exploring the technical innovations of Super Mario 64, it's time to see how this game left an indelible mark on the gaming industry. 
Super Mario 64 not only redefined the standards of 3D gaming, but also inspired a generation of developers in game. Let's discuss this influence in detail. Take for example Banjo-Kazooie. This game clearly took advantage of the innovations from Super Mario 64, particularly in terms of camera and controls. The developers at Rare admitted that they were inspired by Mario 64 to create levels rich in exploration and object collection. And that's not all. Psychonauts, another classic 3D platformer, was also heavily influenced by Super Mario 64. Tim Schafer, the creator, often mentioned how crucial Mario 64 was in designing intuitive controls and immersive levels. Even modern games like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild owe much to Super Mario 64. The freedom of exploration, the way players can interact with the environment, all these concepts find their roots in the ideas introduced by Mario 64. I will help you. And let's not forget indie games. Many indie developers cite Super Mario 64 as a major source of inspiration. The design of open levels and the freedom of movement are elements we see in many indie games today. Look at how these concepts appear in so many different games. It's incredible to see the lasting impact of Super Mario 64. And you, dear adventurers, do you have a favorite modern game that reminds you of Mario 64? Share your thoughts in the comments. Super Mario 64 not only influenced games, but it also became a reference in teaching game design. Many courses and tutorials use Mario 64 to explain principles of level design, camera and controls. Teach me your style. That's right, Ivan. The way Mario 64 subtly guides players through its levels is an excellent example of intuitive design. Every element of the game is designed to be both fun and educational, a valuable lesson for future developers. Ultimately, Super Mario 64 not only changed how games are designed, but also transformed how we play and interact with virtual worlds. It's a legacy that continues to this day. Super Mario 64 is filled with unforgettable moments. Who could forget the first time they faced Bowser or discovered the hidden secrets of Peach's castle? One of the most exciting aspects of Super Mario 64 was discovering its many secrets. Beach's castle itself was a vast playground filled with secret passages and hidden levels. For example, the secret aquarium level where you could dive and collect stars in a peaceful underwater setting. Reveal secrets. And then there were iconic moments like the terrifying piano in Big Boo's Haunt. Who hasn't been scared out of their wits by that piano suddenly coming to life and chasing you? It was both frightening and unforgettable. Let's not forget the slide races, like the one in Cool Cool Mountain. Racing down the slide with the penguin was a hilarious and sometimes frustrating challenge, but always fun. It was a great example of the diverse challenges the game offered. And of course, there were the epic battles against Bowser. These fights were not only skill tests, but also moments of intense tension and satisfaction when you finally defeated him. Win-win! Did you know there are many Easter eggs hidden in Super Mario 64? For instance, the famous L is real 2401 inscription on the fountain plaque in the castle courtyard. For years, players speculated about its meaning with some even thinking. It hinted at Luigi's secret presence in the game. That's right, Yvonne. And what about the backward long jump glitch, which allowed players to bypass locked doors and finish the game faster? This glitch became a central element in Super Mario 64 speedruns, showing how deeply players explored every nook and cranny of the game. Speaking of speedruns, Super Mario 64 is one of the most popular games in the speedrunning community. Players around the world continue to find new techniques and strategies to complete the game as quickly as possible. And you, dear adventurers, have you discovered any secrets or memorable moments in Super Mario 64? Share your anecdotes and discoveries in the comments. Tell me. 
Thank you for traveling with us through these memorable moments of Super Mario 64. This game truly left a mark and continues to inspire players of all ages. Stay with us for the final part, where we'll summarize everything we've learned and discuss the legacy of Super Mario 64. Adventurers, we've reached the end of our adventure. We've explored the technical innovations, memorable levels, and lasting impact of Super Mario 64. But what is the true legacy of this iconic game? Let's summarize everything we've learned. Super Mario 64 revolutionized the gaming world with its innovative use of dynamic camera and analog stick. These innovations set new standards for 3D games, influencing generations of developers. Interesting. We saw how Mario 64's level design encouraged exploration and creativity. Each star and challenge was crafted to offer a new gaming experience. Games like Banjo-Kazooie and Psychonauts adopted these concepts to create immersive and interactive worlds. And of course, we can't forget the memorable moments and fun anecdotes that defined our gaming experience. Whether it was the terrifying piano in Big Boo's Haunt, or the exciting slide races, Super Mario 64 captivated players with its surprises and unique challenges. The legacy of Super Mario 64 extends beyond its technical innovations and captivating gameplay. It also served as a model for teaching game design, helping future developers understand the importance of interaction and immersion. Today, the influence of Super Mario 64 is still present. Modern games like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey continue to incorporate the principles of freedom and exploration introduced by Mario 64. It's a testament to its lasting impact on the gaming industry. And there you have it, dear adventurers. We've come a long way together. Super Mario 64 is not just a game. It's a legend that continues to inspire and captivate players and developers around the world. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Mario 64's legacy. Legendary. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this adventure, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. See you next time for another exciting journey in the world of gaming.